In this video, I'll be trying to teach my fiance, Hansi, how to draw in 100 hours. Just to see how far you can get from basically a complete novice in 100 hours of intense practice and guided learning. I'm used to drawing and painting, and even though I still think I have a lot to learn, I think it's easy to forget how hard it is just to master the basics. I know Hansi thinks he's not very good at drawing, so when he proposed this project to me, I thought it could be really cool to document the whole process and just figure out if it's all about talents or if anyone one can actually learn to draw if you just put in the time and put in the effort. All right, let's freaking do this. Are you ready, Hansi? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. I'm also looking forward to it. It's going to be a very big test of my patience, I think. <laughs> yes, I think so too. <laughs> I made a plan for okay. the first 10 hours. Good, we're going to need a plan. <laughs> yes. But I think before we get into it, we should do like a baseline test. So we have something to compare to. That makes sense. So I draw something now. Yes. And draw something, the same thing at the end. Yes. I've picked out four things that I want you to draw. Four? Yes. That's more things than I've drawn the <laughs> last year. <laughs> it will make sense later. What I want you to do is to spend as much time time as you need because then I can also find out like your patience level. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you time it, let me know. And once you're done with the baseline, show me. So I'm looking forward to this. I have one yes. concern though. Okay. What if I spend 100 hours and I follow everything you say and then I'm just no better? Uh, hadn't thought about that, but I honestly don't think that's an option. So I'm not worried. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to do the baseline. Yes. Let's get started on this. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this is it. The start of 100 hours. I'm not known to have the most patience. I've also never been good at drawing. So these two things combined is gonna make for a very interesting next two weeks. Now Martina, the teacher she is, has made me a PowerPoint where I will find all the details for the first 10 hours, including what we're gonna do for the baseline. So that's what I'm gonna check out right now. Hello and welcome to Martina's very epic drawing crash course. Hours zero to 10, topic, Basic shapes. So kawaii this presentation. Where the heck do you begin? We'll get to that first. Baseline time. Yee. Grab a pencil and paper. Check. Draw the following. A coffee mug, a book on a table, a house and a donut. That does seem simple enough. How much time should I spend drawing a coffee mug? Feel like it should be quite simple. What does a coffee mug look like? A coffee mug is just like a, to me it's just a, cylinder with a little thing that you hold on. I have infinite time on this, but something tells me I'm not gonna spend infinite time. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so this is gonna count down from 100 hours later, but now I'm just gonna show you how much time I'm gonna spend on the baselines. Let's go. Look, it's my coffee mug. I even spelled coffee wrong. And it took me six minutes, almost seven minutes. That felt like much longer. Look, it's almost 3D due to my Awesome shading skills. Okay, we're moving on to a book on a table, a house and a donut. Okay, the baseline took me around 20 minutes. I am now finished and this is the result. So you already saw the coffee mug. Here's my book on a table seen from the side. And then we have the house, classic old house. It looks like it was made by someone in kindergarten. I don't know how to make it good, so I just finish it as quickly as I can. The same with the donut. Looks like a donut though. I like the shading. Now let's take it over to Martina. Hey Martina. Hello. Look at my baseline. Oh, hey, these are pretty good. I'm honestly really impressed with your donut. I thought that would be like one of the hardest ones. I am already a pro. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is a good baseline. We can work from this. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I think I'm more excited than you are. <laughs> uh, probably, because I am ready to give up already. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I'm going to begin your lessons now. Nice. Okay, keep me posted. I will be looking over your shoulder. This means it's time to finally start on the 100 hours. And I can finally press start. And I am going to complete the rest of Martina's course. The first thing I'm gonna learn about is shapes. But Martina warned me this is gonna be kind of grindy, so I'm just gonna start a time lapse. First 10 hours, let's go.
I just want to check in to see how it's going. Hello. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I am surprisingly doing fine. Nice. It's been 15 hours. It's 84 hours left. I feel like you know, I've already been doing this for an eternity and it's, <laughs> it's only been 15 hours. It's been a lot of shapes. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of shapes. It's boring in the beginning. It's going to get more fun now. I promise. You promise? <laughs> <laughs> Today, I am really struggling. 81 hours left, we're almost 19 hours in, and I feel like I'm not making the progress I want to. I'm running out of patience, I'm just tired of drawing the same things over and over again. Suck it up, Hansi, suck it up, don't be a bitch. Just one hour more, and then one hour more, and then one hour more, and then one hour more, one hour more, and then we'll get there. Hello guys, we are 34 hours in and I think I have successfully surpassed the defeated stage or I felt like giving up. And I think I've now entered into a new stage, which I don't know is any better, but I think I'm now in a god complex stage where I feel like I am the god of the universe that I'm drawing. And it might be a really wonky and not perfect universe and very skewed at times and definitely not shaded, right? But it is my universe and it's getting more fun and I really think it, it helped a lot with all these perspectives exercises that I've been doing because these are easy for me to follow there are strict rules that I can just follow which helps I still feel though that if I was asked to draw anything like any shape at all like mention it like a tree or a flower anything like that it still would be absolutely terrible like I feel like I don't know how to put real things onto the paper so there's that and there's another thing I this takes a lot of time like intuitively I should know that because I watched Martina do this for literally years but now it's me one hour feels like a whole lot of time but once I get past that and I stop watching the clock and I'm actually drawn into what I'm drawing, kind of forget about the time and time just flies. It's really like a goes both ways. Sometimes it's very slow, especially when I'm not making progress, but when I do feel like I'm getting into this more complex drawing, then time just flies and it's actually pretty fun. So yeah, this is, this is going well, I have to say. But we're only 34 hours in and the 66 remaining hours just seems like an infinite amount of time. There's nothing else to do that just keep drawing, so let's go. Guys, I have amazing news. We're halfway there. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! <laughs> I'm just kidding, but we're halfway there. And I made some cool stuff, like this crab. We made a spoon, frog. We're getting somewhere. So the last 20 hours or something has mainly been me focusing on drawing things. And I've been following the tutorials of a guy called Virtual Instructor on YouTube. Absolutely great follow-alongs. I could finish a crab in 30, 40 minutes. And that felt amazing to me, just by trusting the process, drawing shapes, drawing shading, then the line work and everything. Absolutely great YouTube channel. But now I have heard that Martina's prepared another PowerPoint to me and it's time to move on 
to something even more difficult. And the name of the game is Basic Anatomy. I'm gonna have to draw people. Drawing people is kind of scary because I feel like if you don't draw them well, they're just gonna look creepy. And I think it's gonna be really hard with the anatomy and everything. But I mean, that's what the PowerPoint is for. So we're gonna learn. I've said it's gonna be difficult for everything. So it's time to just shut up and do it. <laughs> okay, let's go. When I made this 100 hour drawing plan, I spent a lot of time just trying to figure out the roadmap of where I would begin, how I would learn to draw if I'd known what I know today, in order to just progress in the most effective way. And that in itself is not an easy task, but it was definitely made a lot easier with the help of today's ad, Milanotes. What I really like about Milanote is that it's such a visual and easy to use tool for basically planning any creative project. When I plan out this project, I began with this project template board, which is really nice. There's like a hundred templates to choose from. And I tried to just like brain dump what I thought would be the most important topics to cover, like basic shapes, perspective, etc. And of course, like sprinkling in some pictures and colors in there for aesthetics. I can't help myself. After dumping my brain, I went back in and made a subboard for the roadmap itself. Isn't that cool? You can just make a board and a board and a board. Boardception. And in here, I just drag and dropped all the columns, the to-dos and everything else until I had a complete timeline of the progression plan. So organized, so beautiful. So if you want to get more organized in your creative projects, then check out Milanotes. It's free to use with no time limit and you can find the link down in the description. And back to the project. That probably seemed like a short time on camera, but it was actually 25 hours in real time and I did not enjoy the first part of it but as I drew more kind of grew on me and now I have a bunch of drawings I want to show you so this first one is yeah what you'd expect pretty bad it's my first attempt uh, I drew a few straight on which is quite easy and I on this one I actually got to use the shading that I've learned so that was pretty cool I, I'm quite happy with this then as I tried to paint people from the side that's really difficult. When I didn't really feel like I managed to make believable people, I turned them into mugs instead. Cause <laughs> that, I don't know why, it just felt natural. And, but this guy is quite happy with, like proportions, not, not too bad. And it's from the side as well, which I find very difficult. But then I decided spending like 12 hours on this one where I just wanted to draw someone straight ahead cause it's the easier one. And I'm quite happy with it, especially the shading. So I'm gonna show Martina. Martina is currently working on the robot. I have something to show you. Okay, you know I've been drawing for a long time on this one. Yes. And you've seen a little bit a underway. Little, at the beginning. Yeah. But now it's finished. Do you wanna see? Yes. Oh my god, it's really good. You drew the I can't believe you drew this. I'm quite happy with like the shading and the hair and stuff. The proportions aren't great, but the proportions are great. What are you talking about? It looks amazing. What do you mean? Oh, thank you. The shading is so good. Like her eyes and just her mouth. You know how hard mouths are. I'm a little offended that you're doing this well so fast. <laughs> like, to be fair, it doesn't feel like it's fast. It's very fast. You've done very fast progress on this. Well, I have a great teacher, so that okay. helps. <laughs> okay, let's get drawing. So this was my reference for this entire drawing. I don't think she looks so much like the reference, but I'm gonna try to make a new one with a guy and hopefully I can make it look more like the reference. I think that's good practice. Yeah, and this is the guy I'm gonna attempt to draw. Here we go again. get myself to spend like six hours on this but all in all I'm pretty happy with it it did turn out a bit more similar than the previous one this is my guy that's the reference my guy reference 
So that means it's only 17 hours left and we're soon finished, which is kind of crazy to me because I've been working on this for almost a month now, which is insane. And it's, it feels weird to soon be done. I'm not exactly sure what to focus on for the remaining hours, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to redrawing the baselines. That's my main motivation at this point. So let's finish this 100 hour challenge. feels amazing to finally be finished. I mean, I didn't think I would be able to finish this in the beginning because mm -hmm. the time just moved so slowly. <laughs> and I really did feel like giving up like the first, I guess like 30, 40 hours. Yeah. And then gradually it became easier. And now it's actually a little bit sad. It's been nice the last 20, 30 hours to just be able to sit and draw. That makes me so happy. <laughs> but you know, there's still one more thing left though. One more thing. We have to go through all the paintings. Yes. But let's do that in the end. Yeah. First, I have to redraw the baseline. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> me too. I think I'm going to spend a lot more time on the baseline because mm. now I know what to do. But I also know that what I need to do takes a lot more time. Because last time I, I had no idea what I was actually going to do. And that just resulted in me spending like 20 minutes on the baseline because oh, yeah, I know a cup <laughs> is like a circle. And now I think I'm probably going to spend hours, mm -hmm. but it's going to be an interesting comparison. Let's get drawing the yes. baseline. Baseline! Mm. It's done. Yes. The baseline is done. The hundred hours is done. Oh e my God. Everything is done. Amazing. Should we do a comparison before yes. and after? Okay. I think the one you did, the ones you did now, look so good. The reflections in the coffee. Mm. My favorite one is definitely the donut. I want to eat it. It looks so good. Can we look at the first ones? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm sorry for laughing. I mean, I was so happy with the donut. <laughs> what happened to it? I complimented it too. It was so good. And now yeah. it doesn't look good at all. The house, I mean, of course, yeah. I spent 20 minutes on this. Yeah. I had no idea of knowing how to spend more time. Yeah. Like, this is the best I could do with infinite time. But now I spent like four hours. So I definitely unlocked some skill sets that I could actually spend more time on. Oh, that's good. I'm sorry for laughing, but whoo. Look, the shading on the coffee mug. Are you, are you, are you insulting Hansi 100 hours ago? <laughs> no, I'm, like co Hansi I'm complimenting Hansi now. More like five weeks ago, because yes. this took more time than I expected. <laughs> 
at the beginning of this, what did you think would be the most challenging and what actually ended up being the most challenging part? I thought painting people or faces would mm -hmm. be the absolute hardest thing. I don't think, I didn't think I would be able to get to that, but that turned out to be my favorite part of it basically. <laughs> and the hardest thing was to draw, I think, uh, just like general objects. Because mm, right. it's a little bit boring and it's very hard to capture texture and shape. It, it's so difficult. So yeah. yeah, that's the hardest. Totally agree. I think your portrait turned out so good. Uh, yeah, I was quite happy with it. In the beginning, I was so frustrated. So all my mm. portraits, they turn into mugs. Like I just <laughs> couldn't get the proportions right. The perspective was all wrong. I kind of want that mug in real life. <laughs> <laughs> New merch. New merch. Face mugs. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, but oh, yeah, I was beautiful. very happy with these that I spent so much time on. Oh, they turn out really good. I'm so impressed. So many things that could be better, but it's such a big difference from mm. what it was. And I'm actually a little bit mind blown that this was the result of only 100 hours. And that goes to show to all you naysayers out there, it's not all about talent. Because I've been telling myself <laughs> I'm talentless for forever mm. and I still am. But with time, you can make something that is cool. Yeah. And with even more time, I think it's possible to become good. Yes, definitely. Definitely, so definitely like agree. 100 hours every month for many years. You're gonna become a pro. A pro. That's just what happens. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> do you feel like, do you think you're gonna keep drawing now? I mean, I want to. It feels really cool to yeah. just chill, make a drawing. It is nice, isn't it? Feels it feels nice, yeah. It, yeah. But I don't know, I have many interests. Yeah, the, the forever problem. <laughs> Tell me about it. But if you could give like one tip or more to any beginners out there, what would that be? Don't do drugs, kid. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, good tip. Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe uh, if you've tried something and you feel like you really tried it and you still think it's terribly hard, mm. move on to something else. There's always something else to learn. True. And for true. the things I didn't enjoy, I eventually switched and that made it easier to continue. I think we can call this a success. I feel like you've learned to draw yeah. in 100 hours. I don't think I would say I've learned to draw, but I've definitely improved a lot. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll agree there. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And of course, a huge thank you to our patrons for continuing to support us. You're awesome. And by the way, we are going to put the... the what would you call it? The curriculum? <laughs> the 100 hour plan up for our patrons, if you want to check that out. You can find it down there. As well as the tutorials that Hans has followed will be in the description. Down in the description. Down check there. Check them out. Very good. Very good. Very cool. <gasps> and now, as always, it is time! Let's have a look at the final result!